I've listened uh, recently to some stuff by Erwin McManus. He's got a, a podcast called Battle Ready, and that's what it's all about. It's, it's about the fact that when challenges arise, you don't have to get ready to combat them you, when you're in a, in a state of readiness. There's a lot of uncertainty and there's a lot of stuff that's happening right now, but there's also great opportunity because stuff changes. Stuff that people thought was important or, you know, they, they panic or something and you know just give an instance you know I'm sure people are selling off if you're into real estate people are probably selling off properties like crazy this thing isn't gonna last forever so there's people who are gonna look at something and say that's worth value and they don't realize that if they hold on to that then it's gonna be worth value um, and so a lot of people are saying I can use this opportunity to actually get some assets and you know when this thing comes out of it I'm gonna be way ahead of everyone else. Yeah, and it's, it's one of the greatest lessons that, that our country and the world, but our country could could really take from this is that, you know, the only way to be ready is to stay ready. The only way to get ready is to stay ready. And the reality is 90% of Americans were not ready to go without income for a month. And so coming out of this, understanding that there will be more obstacles, there will be more difficult times that come up. <clears throat> it's getting your financial situation in order to where you do have that emergency fund, where you do have savings that are in place to where something happened, you got shut down, that you can survive. Uh, and that'll be a great thing for people to learn from this. And that'll be a great thing for the economy as people start to accumulate that. But I mean, you're exactly right. Like every obstacle is an opportunity for somebody but that somebody is the one that's taking action and, and putting effort towards during the uncertain times. But whatever month it is that we come out of this in 2020, a year from now, there will be billions and billions of dollars made by those that took action during this time and made pivots and changed the way they did things or just doubled down on the things that they were already doing, knowing that we we're gonna come out of it and people were gonna need their services again. Um, very easy to say. Um, not as easy to actually implement when you're in the middle of it, uh, but it doesn't make it any less true.